recording for once because going through and doing the whole recap and then doing that and then I'd give up with this stuff. Anyway, so the recording is now starting. So, I'm not doing any more on that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump right in of uh, everybody, I need you all to roll me some initiative. Great. I'm scared. Oh, God. Almost a natural 20. Oh, Come on! Your rolls, Nathan. Sorry? We can see your rolls if that's. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. It's part of a new macro I'm testing. Okay. Mine's. I, mean, mine is... <clears throat> I almost oh, had a natural 20. So... The only difference here that you. Compared to normal is the fact you can see the names, and I might be changing that. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm twiddling around the macro rather than going in and hitting everyone individually. Um, we could assume they were... Yeah, so that we can assume any of their baddie guy. I'm sorry, so just going to use a lock point to re-roll. Okay. Or, or, yeah, Ooh. I'll take 20... Okay, so. Is that everybody? Have you rolled for Zin? Yes, we have. Now, do remember, you will not see the assassins until they fire. Okay. But because they're there, we know that there are assassins. You know that there are assassins around. Now, there is a lot of rooftop space. Um, for example, they could be anywhere anywhere on this roof, they could be over here. Or well, they could be even in the bot down in this bottom right corner. You not, you guys don't know. The only one who knows where they are is Ranos, because he could see them with his true sight, which you still have on, I assume. Yes. yes. So let's put a little icon on you for that. Let's do that. <coughs> okay. So, <coughs> top of the round, Scathe. What do you want to do? Right now, all you can Scaith. see is this um, robed individual and Ranos. You can't even. Well, you, you have to go around the corner to see that, but. Yeah. Skate is going to run up here. Okay, so that is 20 see, feet. Uh, seeing a bit of a sticky situation. And I'm going to cast Thickening Radius. Okay. Cast what, sorry? Uh, Thickening Radius. Awesome. I have no idea what that does. Post that for me. And I'm going to put it up 50 feet in the air, based around that spot. Okay. Uh, this won't work. Let's see. I saw you drawing a circle earlier. I wonder if I tried to copy and paste it, but I don't know if it will work. No, I won't. Alright. Uh, oh, and he works if you're a DM, apparently. Hello, uh, right. Oh, wait, no. There you go. That's me. It's... That was you. Yeah. It's about there. So it's going to be sort of face the middle spot was going to be there. Yeah. So I wanted to try and get some roof. Okay. Moving it is not easy, unfortunately. So about here. Yeah, go for it out then. Okay. So the... Um... Uh, so, they, so nothing happens on this turn. Yeah. They're just caught into it. It's when they first... Uh, when they start their turn. Okay, got it. So yeah, when they start their turn, they'll take a, shift. They'll take a hit. And then I'm going to... Slide into this corner uh -oh. and go prone. Okay, so that'll drop your invisibility as you sneak down into the corner. Yep. All right. Oh, bonus action! I am going to use dip three arrows into my drag poison. Okay. Kind of go yeah, and then chuck into a corner and just play a little violin. <laughs> okay, so 
uh, this guy is going to take aim with this short bow and he's going to make a fire. He's going to fire at you, Reynolds. Now he doesn't have advantage because you can see him. And he misses this with guy? a natural one. <laughs> Invincible. As twang, this bolt, uh, this arrow for the rest of you, you hear the shot, but you don't see where it came from. As Maybe you watch as this uh, Ranos, you see as one of those invisible figures turns visible. Okay. Ah. Zin's turn. Zin is going to bonus act in rage. Okay. Does not break stuff. And... No, he's going to run up to this guy. Yep, he can get there. And he is going to with uh, recklessly attack Go for it. with the short swords. I just need to make sure I'm using one sec. That's fine. Nope. He's got lots of buttons on his sheet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, so one and two. Okay, they will both hit roll damage. 16 and 16. 32 points 32 of damage. 32 points of damage. Okay. Nice. You watch as um, the smirk on the... Ralph, you watch as the smirk on this cultist's face as he's kind of pointing his finger at you as he suddenly turns to one side as this pair of blades appear, appears from thin air and just jabs him in the gut and then spins around and slices across his torso and kind of stumbles back for a second, kind of bewildered. Um, Zin is about. very much like, this is much better. <laughs> okay, so this guy's going to make a constitution save. Yep. He Someone fails. cursed my dice! <laughs> um, so he takes... takes 21 points of damage. Of radiant damage. One level of exhaustion and cannot be invisible. Perfect. So he breaks his invisibility anyway. Um, but his ability checks. So he's still going to make that shot against Rannis. Standard shot. 20 to hit. Uh, cutting words. Sure. Uh, is it a d10 now, right? Maybe? I haven't done this. Done this You're the bard, not me. Oh, that brings it down to a 14. 14. Are you 15 AC now? Yeah. You shout as uh, you shout up to it. I can see you. <laughs> he goes, huh? Poop. And the arrow <laughs> plop, lands in the water. <laughs> okay, Jojo, you're up. Cool, 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 cool. So, um, I don't know how math works. I wanna. Math is difficult. I've heard. But it's distances, really. What does he Even if it's, to do? Especially if it's quick. I want to get around the corner. I don't want to really get... But I want to be 30 feet away from everybody. Um... So... Here? Here. Where are I... This kind of here is roughly... That's a rooftop, so... Yeah, but could I get around his own... There, but underneath... But... Kind of not. The wall is kind of there. So you can go on these squares here. So I could be there. I basically kind of want to not be as visible to all the moves, but then 30 feet away from sure. the right. body. I just need to check what the wording of this says. Remember, you can only see one. From where you are, you can see two cultists. Oh, it's not about that. It's not about the cultists. I just... Look, if people are... If things are coming from up, and he gave put something up, I don't want to be seen by too much up. Okay. That's that's all. That's that's not just work. But then, I don't know how many things are up there. I'm got some beacon of hope. Okay. So you drop so invisibility. Okay. Yeah. As this ring of radiant ring of light spreads from you, uh, and that will get everybody. So, um, blah, blah, blah. yeah. Everyone has advantage on wisdom saving throws, death saving throws, and if you receive any healing, you receive maximum healing. Don't. Nice. That's, that's, you, that's you done, Jojo? Right, um, uh, can I cast spiritual weapon as well? Um, yes, it's a second, yes. level. second level spell. Also, we tend to let that one go because it's just... doesn't do yes. it. Where would you like to cast it? On, on the, the guy I can see. 
you can see a couple of people, you want to go on here. I'll put it here. Oh, that's, good. that's a terrible. That's, that's a terrible knife. But you know what? I'm going to set a token up for this. It kind of curved a little bit. Sometimes that happens. It's like a curved blade. Cutlass. That's cutlass. it. Yeah. The mini after speaking to the the pirates, um, <laughs> that's what it is. All the all the captain people. Um, that's an extra six. I'll put a, slay, a snail on him. So an extra six points of yeah. rage, force damage. Okay. And then I'm just going to go, move, 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 we're gonna go, move, guys! You see one of the assassins starts dancing to it, then snaps back. Okay, this guy at the top is going to make a shot against Ranos. 17 to hit. That hits. Okay, as you take, um, uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Answer, it should be half damage and half damage. So you succeed, so you take 8 points of piercing damage and 6 points of poison damage and an additional 10 points of sneak attack damage. So, wait. <laughs> so 8 plus 6, so 14 minus 13, plus. so you take 11 points of damage total. Not wait, that that's not right. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> How much total? I'm sorry, I was trying to... 11 do, uh, points of damage total. 11. I thought you could do addition and subtraction in the uh, no. HP box. <sighs> okay. The cultist who's just been stabbed and hit with a fly flailing cutlass looks around. <sighs> I should have known. <laughs> well, time for you to go out the same way your father did. And he uh, points to the ground behind you. And as he points to that ground, you watch as a circle begins to form. Oh no. Oh shit, it's gonna be a hazard. Oh, shit. We don't know that though. <laughs> so the B team to know. That's it. As you watch as this, this, this dark black and red circle etches itself onto the ground as uh, as it completes and flashes with a bright red light. You watch as two strange webbed clawed hands pull themselves out as you watch this horrifying toad-like demon pull itself free from, from the pits of hell. Demon, slay this one. And points at you, Rannis. And he then uses his oh, oh, bonus shit. action to Misty Step across the water. This is a very small stream here. It's like not very deep. But so I need to roll initiative for this gentleman. So he will go at the start of the next round. Right. After, after me. That's right. Yeah. Shadow's turn. Shadow is going to fly very close to the ground. Um, from here, so forty feet, and he's gonna dash the guy in the toad face. Okay. So you making just doing the help action, are you? Uh, he can't. Or let me just check his. Is a 50? Oh, 50 feet! Oh, he can do the help action on the uh, guy. Yeah, right. He can make it and do the help action. Okay. This guy, the assassin, is going to make his con save. Yep. <laughs> They're like a zoom what have I the done <laughs> to deserve this. So he takes 21 points of damage. He is no longer visible. And he has exhausted it, so I'll put a snail on him as well. But he's still going to take a shot at Rannis. Twenty-one to hit. That lit. Okay, so you take six points of piercing damage. You need another con save. So you take six plus thirteen plus thirteen. So twenty-three. So so twenty-six. 32 points of damage. Ow. As this arrow sinks into your thigh, uh, and you feel this pain <laughs> as poison courses <laughs> through your leg. Uh. Okay, Ranos, it's your turn. 
Um, um, first I'll be terrified of this thing spawning next to me, and then will I, I remember my focus and try to petrify the summoner. Okay. That is a concept. It should never work. It should be now. 16. Your DC is 18? Yes. So you kind of you stare at him and you lift and you just uh, focus on the on the eye patch. Uh, and you watch as the summoner begins to stiffen up. We'll have words later. <laughs> okay. And then I will heal Massa. Also, with the you healing get full bonus. healing. Level 2. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, 2d... F Why am I rolling? You don't have to roll. Yeah, yeah 2d4 eight. plus... Five. Okay, Nira is going to jump out from behind the shadows because that's what she does, and she's going to do that thing that we all know and love. Um, and she is going Light? to <laughs> fireball. Going to cast chain lightning uh, hmm. on. Oh, just out of reach. But going to cast chain lightning at this guy up the top there. Oh. She might be joining us. Earth chain lightning, they see the chain lightning or firebolt. Just hope you see it. Three, two, one. Our firebolt for now at the guy at the roof here. Let her keep our firebolt via chain lightning. Because uh, she should be with us for next round. So. I have a feeling I know what she was going to do with it. She has so many spells. 19 to hit on this guy. He has an AT of 15, so that does hit. So, he takes 18 points of fire damage. <laughs> wow. Nice. And he's, glow he's both glowing with dim light and firelight simultaneously. <laughs> um, not a good day. Not at all. Okay, this guy at the top here is going to take aim and he's going to take a shot at Uranus. 26 to hit. Me? You're the target, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so you take. I need another co DC, another constitution saving throw from you. Well. So that's 25 points of damage there. Plus. Another 19, so you go down. Isn't it? Does I have. Oh, yeah, it is considered an ally right now. Right now, yes. The Hezru does count as an ally. Uh. You're out. You do have your reaction back. Yes, I was gonna say I'll. Well, oh, no, his spell goes down. I thought he went down. It's like he died. Yeah. Impossible to. Uh... I mean, I can reduce damage, but also you don't can reduce see. the damage. Currently, you're. How much damage totally? Thirty-eight plus that forty. It's four. Forty-four. So no, you couldn't. No. I'll just roll over. <laughs> just <laughs> as <laughs> Ranos drops down to the ground. Uh, as the arrow sinks straight into the centre of his chest as he looks up at the other assassin that um, uh, comes into view. Avenge my father! And he drops down to the ground. Giovanni, you're up. Oh, no, it's no longer a visible. Uh, I'm uh, running... Let's see, how far do I get? Up to here. Yes. To there. And then I'm going to say, go back to the hole you came from and cast banishment. Oh, okay. Uh, big guy from from my tome of the still time. Awesome. So it's a charisma save, I believe. Okay. It's a DC. Uh, seventeen. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Fucking wizards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, clutch. <laughs> you watch as the summoners like. <laughs> as you just see this, the runic circle burned into the ground, and the demon just. <laughs> falls back through it like he was standing on nothing. <laughs> Damn you, wizards. <laughs> Wait, wow. Wait for it. Uh, no, there's another. Do I? No, I don't. That's a shame. Uh, okay, Scaith, you're up. Okay. Uh, he's, I'm going to stand up and I am going to get to here, that's, that's all my movement. Yep. Uh, and I am going to take a sh two shots at that guy. Okay. 
Okay, you have advantage because no known advantage. Yes. Because he's restrained. restrained. Does that account for ranged? Or just melee? Yeah. It's all it's all attack. Go for it then. You have advantage, uh, which means you get the sneak as well. I get sneak and, and I also have poison. So we're on a con save. He's not very constitutional. Actually, a twelve. Oh, it, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to use the lock button. <laughs> that hits. Fifteen. Uh, I think fourteen beats the save on the poison. It's not very high. Uh, let me just check. It is fourteen. Let me just check if it's up damage. Uh, one hit the target, or okay, so it's Saber Silk apparently. Uh, okay, so he takes uh, 21, uh, points of 21 points of damage from the first hit, and then taking a second shot. Uh, he needs to make a con save for somewhere that's when that's what he is. So, second shot from. I have a uh, Thirsting Blade, and I've made a bow in my pack weapon. Ah, okay. Um, I will just, so I'm just trusting you guys. Summer well. Lesson Demons is gone now, is it? As far as you're aware, the demon seems okay. to have disappeared. <laughs> so he takes six points of damage, another con save for the poison. That's a nine. Oh. You see, I was more and more. He has to make a con save for concentration on some of the lesser demons you uh, have. Sorry, no. So that's so. There's no con save because the demon's already gone. So that that roll oh, okay. of nine is for the poison. So he fails on the poison. So he takes an, and so takes, takes eight points, points of, of poison damage. damage. Okay. Uh, bonus action. Can't really do anything. Bonus. Uh. I'm going to bonus action dash and I'll just maybe. Yeah, I'm going to slide over here and go prone. Okay. Uh, looking around, the assassin on the roof is going to look down, uh, see what's going on, and he's going to take another shot against Rouse's prone body. Disadvantage? Because he's prone. Rude. Ten misses. Uh, takes a shot. It clatters nearby. See the, the body like whoop. <laughs> <laughs> slightly. Uh, and then he is going to move up, move up, move away. Uh, not yet. He's not. Zin, you're up. Um, Zin is going to see a situation, and he's going to go up to Ranas and. Beat him a potion. Okay, full action. Is it a no regular healing potion? Yeah, he's going to give a regular healing. So two he heals. Two he heals for that. So it's yeah, ten. Yeah, so points he heals ten points. Awesome. Um, <laughs> and then he's just going to try to stand in front of Ranos. Is the uh, true sight still up? Or true sight would drop. It's not. Can he? Though. Can Is it he concentration? use his movement? No. It's fine, I'll let you have it. It doesn't make a lot of difference. Okay. Can he use his movement to get Rana standing? Uh, since you've already used the action... Yeah, sure, actually. I'll allow it. <laughs> well, yeah. he'll pour the potion into my head, and he'll just go, stand or sit, lie down? What? <laughs> <laughs> Up, up, up. <laughs> oh, hold on, more then. <laughs> it's just still the arrow in my chest. Yeah. Um, uh, Skate, on your ability, is it continuous? Yes. So ah. he, I've done well, another damage roll. Fine. This guy will move out of it then, actually. Sorry, I thought it was a one off. Uh, but <coughs> as you can see, the center of light, he's going to move her over to here. Um, so he won't take it. Will take the damage at the start of his turn, so he still needs to make a con save. Yeah. Um, which he succeeds and takes um, eight points of damage. And he's going to take another uh, sh shot cool. at Ranos. 20 to hit. Um, cutting words? You've already. No, you didn't use it. 
Uh, you can, yeah, go for it. You've got to roll more than a five. And the arrow goes over my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I already got one, thanks! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jojo, you're up. Oh, fuck's sake, it's gonna go up. Curious! Powerful! Take the freaking healing! Okay, so level 4, that is what? 4, 5d8? Oh, wait, no, I can. 4d8. I can read. I can totally read because I had this a second ago. 32 plus that, so it's about 40 points. So it's 1d8 plus my spell modifier plus another 3d8, so 4d8. What's the modifier? Um. If you roll the spell, it will show us. That will be easier. It's with some plus, what level are you I know, passing just, it? Plus something else. I'm just going to go with it and then I can take my bonus. <coughs> so it's four, 32 points of healing. Ranos. 42 points of healing. Jeez. 42. 42. Go <laughs> forget the fist off cloak. <laughs> and then I'm going to move the spiritual weapon. And I'm going to move it to here because I can hit the other guy with it. It's five feet away. Yep, so you can make your attack. You have advantage. I can. I closed my spell sheet in big stress, so I have to open it again. Uh, but... 26 hits, roll damage. Another oh, seven points of damage as he as he tries to move away, but he's stiff and can't move very fast. Okay. Um. Ranos, you're feeling pretty good. You watch as the assassin around the corner looks over at you and sees you completely fine. All the <laughs> arrows pop back out of your body. The poison drops out of the ground down to the ground. He's like, huh? He's gonna take a shot. 15 to hit, uh, which does it, I think, if you run off. Uh, just. Okay, so you take con save again. Oh, what then do his spirit shield even? That's against damage, yes. I think. Uh, yes, that's right. But, <laughs> yeah. So if you want to do the same much damage he takes first, so you take Man, 25 plus 9. So it's 25. There's, is there, is there a 20. sneak attack damage? There is no sneak attack damage. Sorry, you're right. So it was 25 minus 12, so 13 points of damage. Uh, and this guy is then going to fucking run. Uh, as he sees that, sees that there is his um, leader turning to stone as the their target is just regenerated fully to maximum HP. He's going to turn and go, nope, and starts moving <laughs> Right, the summoner, at the start of his turn, he's got to make a con save. If he fails, he he's petrified. Fail. Yes, finally! <laughs> you, you can see you sneering, you, this wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> it kind of just crumbles up into this pile of stone. Um, as he, uh, as he turns to stone, mm -hmm. From the feet up, of course. Um, oh, yes. Um, uh, I yell over to him. The ring is destroyed. You'll never get it. And you can hear the, you hear the, the muffled... <laughs> as his face is... <laughs> and turns to stone in that, in that scream of anguish and anger. Um, Alright, Shadow's turn. He's out of the, he's out of the picture. Um, uh, Shadow is going to fly up to this dude, avoiding my circle of that's fine. Uh, radiance and use a hell back chin, just like blah blah. I'm not going to use the blah action. Yes. Yeah, this guy needs to make his con save. Make his con save. Use. Does that thing hurt us? Uh, or... it's, it's up in the air, so you're fine. So he takes okay. eight points of damage. Takes eight points of damage and looks at what's going on. Um, looks down at you guys. He's gonna. He takes a shot at the summoner and then legs it. That'll hit. Um, I do, do I have my reaction? Uh, 
No, no you don't. You, you, use, you use that cutting word. Oh, I as he... But what's an arrow gonna do against stone, right? He still has a health ball, and you watch as the arrow just sinks into it, and just sinks into the stone. Doesn't doesn't break, but it sinks in deep. And then he turns, and he's gonna leg it out of your viewpoint. I lost you up. You've got these two. So right now you can see this guy up here, and you can see these two here, and you can kind of see the other guy. But the other guy's long, long gone. Um, I will. I will yell out to the remaining guys and uh, say, um, "Your masters turned to stone, defeated. Your signet ring, molten in the lava of Gauntlegrim." Run now, or face the same fate. Okay. Melted. And then I heal myself. <laughs> and go to them. Make an intimidation Melted. as well, please. Um, Nira, you're up. Mmm. So do some melting. Can I do some melting? Can I see anybody? I don't think I can. From where you are, no, but if you move forward, you can quite... If you were to move to, say, like, there, you could quite easily see both these guys and this guy. Okay. They're on a common roof. Like fun. Yeah, let's do that. So, please. If I can click on anything, that'd be great. There we go. Yeah. Clicking on things is overrated. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um. Um, and um, and um. Cast Firebolt at level 4. Huh? That's not how that works. <laughs> okay, I will. Shots. However. Um. Let's see, let's check and see how much that gives me. Let's go to that. Mm. Mm. Damn. Okay, yeah. No. I'm just gonna kind of try to accentuate his thing. I'm not trying to kill them yet. <laughs> yes. Um, so we're just gonna do a magic missile at, I think, level one? Level one is three of them, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So we're just doing a magic missile at level one. At uh, who? One at each of them. One, one just one at each. Yeah. Okay, so that is so. two, f <laughs> four, and four. Yeah. It's kinda... <laughs> As the fire the magic missiles to right into the air and they <laughs> split out into their various paths. Okay. Um, this guy on the roof of the shadows attacking is gonna go Nope. And he's gonna dash out of dash off of the map. Um, <laughs> Don't fuck with a again. Shadow, get a shadow gets attack <laughs> for opportunity. <laughs> if only. But he's like, nope. <laughs> And the shadow does watch as he drops into an invis into invisibility as he's running. Um, <laughs> Ooh, he's got cool powers. Giovanni. Uh, right, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna stand here and say, just run you two and cast Gust of Wind in this direction. <laughs> I like this. Okay. Um, My gonna... shingles! <laughs> I'm not going to give him a save for it, it's like... <laughs> as, you, as this massive gust of wind just... <laughs> shoots up, ripping some of the tiling off the roof and the shingles, hitting the guys in the face. They lose <laughs> concentration for a second and... <laughs> and they just fly out of sight. And I'm going to turn it off, because and I they... don't want to ruin the house <laughs> too much. <laughs> you wait for about roughly six seconds and then you hear a... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, at this point, are you guys letting them flee? Nah, I'm gonna. I want to take one shot at that guy running. Go for it. Can I? Can I get this guy? Is he still on the map? Which one? This one. He's still on the map. Yeah. I want to sacred flame him. Okay. He's we'll, been we'll, we'll stick an initiative. Skaith, you first. Yeah. Uh, I, it's just a straight shot. The... Go for it. That'll hit. Roll damage. Is it... 15. Do you still have poison? He, ha 
Yeah, it's your last I have one, one more poison arrow. So now I can roll. No damage. Now I can roll. Uh, so. but you know what? Fuck him. Um, shoot him you're again. not one of my assassins. Uh, Eldrick's my fucker. Okay, how much for? 17. 17, I was going, oh. You watch as your arrow shoots, hits him in the butt. He's, ow, <laughs> and then it electrifies. Ah! Stops. Uh, uh, pops three feet up in the one. air as he does so. <laughs> um, Zin's turn, I don't think Zin can get there. Oh, additional 8 2. As I shoot twice. Twing, twing. <laughs> ow! You get the other cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zayn is just going to run over to the guy and, like, seeing oh. the guy previously take a shot, try to, like, basically play goalkeeper. <laughs> goalkeeper. <laughs> okay, he takes an action to goalkeep. I like it. <laughs> okay, Jojo, you want a Sacred Flame? Go for it. I, I can make You have a cop, Egg the MC. I can make deck saves. <laughs> um, I, was, I was actually thinking whether we're going to do Tom the Dead instead, actually. But I, I called it previously. Yeah. He dodges it. He's, like, he's running now, he's getting arrows flying at him. We like fire. fire! He's running at, and on his turn, he's like, no, 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 no. And he just, you watch uh, as he turns invisible as he runs away. <laughs> I'll also drop concentration. Okay. So the light isn't up in the air anymore. Good. Okay, Shadow's turn. Nah, Shadow's not bother. He'll just come back into my cloak. As the other guy runs away. Okay. You can break petrification, right? Hmm? And talk to him? You don't know. <laughs> you never tried. Is it the map move? Wait, wait, wait. I don't think it's so. just... Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so as Khan descends upon you, the rest of the assassins scattering to the wind, the one summoner individual, the guy that is speaking to Ranos, um, <clears throat> kind of locked in this horrified, anguished roar. Um, an arrow, uh, a single arrow penetrating the stone deep into the chest uh, of the individual as quiet descends. What do you want to do? Actually, could watch. Uh, I'm going to go. I suggest Jojo, you carry on with your turn invisible because guards are going to investigate the big light in the air. As you say that, you start to hear shouts in the distance. Hmm. So right, gather up. Will he fit in the back of holding? He will not. He is at an odd shape. Okay. Should we just well, smash? Manos, Manos, no. Geo, do your thing. How deep? How deep is the river here? The, um, you can go over and check. Here it's about three or four foot deep. Hmm. Do we want him back? I, I can unpack I, I have many questions. I want him alive. Yeah. Guys, guys, we need to do this quick. So cast the spells and then talk when we're in then the room. Then grab him. I'll take Ranos. Alright. You're the strongest here. <laughs> Zin I'll like, go goes to lift him up. He's like... Urgh! I will take both of them. Muscles not working. I will carry both of them. Ranos isn't that heavy. Ranos is fine. Don't I'm, need to carry Ranos. Thank you, but uh, I'm good. Okay, I'll put yeah. carrying a statue. Nera, can you, we'll we'll do this at the ox. Um, yeah. I need to mend this guy. I can do that too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we'll all yeah, gather in. Yep. I want the cast invisibility. <laughs> yes, I. We all also go with him. We, yes. we call we cast an invisibility on the guy as well. But he's an item now. He's not. Well, no, he's an item. So you as long as uh, carry him, Jojo it's fine. Is. Yeah, sure. Are you wearing him? Anyway. Yes. <laughs> so you cast invisibility again on all six to seven of you. Um, as <laughs> as soon as you do, you watch as guards begin to stream in from the various streets, uh, heading in your direction. What do you do? Uh, go back to the. Yeah, back. Oh, Okay. Um, um, I was also, um, are we still passed without a trace? Uh, I don't uh, think yes. so. Yes. Isn't it concentration? Oh, wait, no, I think. Let me check. It is. So, I need you all to make me stealth checks, please, with advantage, because you're invisible. 
Oh, no, uh, yeah, I don't have passive charge because I lost job concentration for the sickening radiance. Yep, yep. still roll stealth for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Not terrible. Yep, as soon as I get my sheet to cooperate. That's right. Nothing is going right for me today. Technology, eh? Te the technology hates me. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why I give it everything it needs. Makes no sense. <laughs> power and you have internet. constant connection to power and the internet. So what more do you need? What else could what else could you possibly want? It just wants you to love it. I some, do. We've got some pretty good roles in there, so <clears throat> As you guys kind of tiptoe away, carrying this massive ass statue under Jojo's <laughs> arm, you try start to make your way back to the Laughing Ox. I would like to point out it's probably hilarious because he's probably taller than I am. So Jojo, I need you <laughs> to make me a dexterity check, please. I'm just gonna, yeah, I was going to point out here this might get complicated. If you drop him, I will drop you. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Okay, as you get to the slaughtered ox, um, man with no name under your arm, uh, you manage to expertly navigate him through the doorway uh, <laughs> without being able to see properly, um, and you don't knock off any of his fingers. <laughs> uh, Very good with bodies. Are you going back up to one of your rooms? Yes, my room. You s sneak upstairs. Oh. You can hear the stairs creaking as you walk up, and a few <laughs> people will look over. Um, <laughs> as you, as the stairs creak uh, and the banisters kind of move as you lean on it, and they kind of look up curiously. Huh? You see one guy looks up at the thing, looks her down at his drink, looks back up at you, and goes, Ugh, puts the drink down, and gets up to leave. Um, <laughs> Place is haunted. Woo so you return to one of the rooms. Um, it's a bit cramped in here. These are not designed for seven people. Um, but you do manage to return to one of the rooms. I just kind of find a corner to post up in. Just kind of. Okay. I need to do some quick maths. Tall, intimidating dragonborn. Um, by the way, I wanted to, uh, while we're, we were walking back, I wanted to have uh, still, while True sets up, uh, have a look if anyone's following. I mean, it's not really. Just see. We're invisible, but I want to see if we're being followed. Okay, make me a perception check, please. Why did I close my sheet? <laughs> Never close the sheet. The sheet must remain always open. <laughs> Good to know. I don't know why I've played that on to set all the D sixes, but Okay. So, you look around, and you do not notice anybody um, following you. Good. Once we're in the room, I'll just go... This place is probably, obviously, compromised in terms of they know we're staying here. Let's do what we need to do, be quick, and then move to a new place. Um, I say we go to Vigil, uh, place our reward upon the... Um... Fireplace. Um, Remember, and take... you can't go back to Vigil because you destroyed the circle. Right. Disabled. You disabled the. You have disabled the circle yeah. locally. So Let's you're... go to Carbon then. They have a mantle. You have to put him on the mantelpiece. Okay. Well, it's somewhere. A stone. You can half stone to Corbin. To Mm -hmm. Just some place that's not here and where we can leave him. Yeah. I will have I have questions, but no time right now. Maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, let's tomorrow. let's go find somewhere safe where we can ask this person questions, and we can get a cup of coffee and sleep. Snap. Yes. If we're going on a, a fancy adventure in the morning, as well as questions, we need a nap. Mm-hmm. Did we pay in, in advance? For what? 
for the ox? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think we paid well, for like three nights, so... You paid for about That's three nights. Soon. Yeah. You can go down and ask for a refund if you want. While bloodied and nah. damaged. I'm Let's back. You can probably get about three gold back. Um... <laughs> Corbin it is. Oh, all the gold! So you want yeah, to bounce to Corbin. Corbin. Okay. So you all, you circle up, Crystal. as you've done before, as you bring out the Hearthstone Nera. Uh, you all <sighs> kind of join hands, and kind of join hands with the statue as well. <laughs> uh, kind of like place him in, he's kind of like that, and you kind of just wrap, wrap around and you grab his hands. Well, people, I, I just want to, while well, the circle is powering up, I just want to say thank you for having my back. Um, these uh, the guys uh, were particularly nasty, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here without you, without your help. So thanks. You would have done the same for us. I mean, duh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, if it's all the same to you, uh, I think it's still worth mentioning. I guess, but I mean, with like odd people, you are. Yeah, we defend our own. Manos, it looks like you have shadier friends than I do. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call them friends, but uh, the demon thing was unexpected. Oh, uh, like, it was your, your boy. Your boy has magical powers. It was terrible. Um, it was terrifying, but it was also kind of cool. Like, like well, especially the way Giovanni took care of the talk. Thing. That was the coolest. Wow. <laughs> I was just like, that was pretty cool. Hi. Like, I'm going again. <laughs> so, I'm like holding the spell, waiting for this conversation to end. You like? <laughs> oh, you're done. Sorry. <laughs> As you bounce back through the ethereal plane, uh, the ethereal plane through um, the astral plane. astral astral sea. Thank you. Um, and you land once again in Corvin. Um, who would have been either side of the in of um, Captain McStoner? Probably me. And okay. Ben also first. Can you both make me athletics checks? Well. <laughs> okay. Wow. As you, as you land wow. with a jolt. As you always do. Um, yeah, Anna, you kind of hold on to the guy and you're ho holding him up but you don't quite get it and you watch. Uh, Ramos, you kind of grab on your side without a problem. Uh, you watch as <laughs> the arm that you're holding on to just <laughs> cracks. There's a long crack just going down the arm that you were holding on to, Jojo. It doesn't fall off, but it seems damaged. I can fix that. You have no idea yeah, what that will do to him post post Stoning. Try. We can I try mean, to fix it. It's not his like organs. <laughs> I mean, he's stone, right? We can fix him. I can. I can melt stone shape stone. People have yeah, spade. arms. Spade. You mm -hmm. can just see is currently in a bush. <laughs> Swiping. <it>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not used to it. There's a particular bush now. <laughs> it is the bush. <laughs> the bush. Well. You the get sour bush. Just get him a bucket to carry with him. Anyway, you return to Corvin, and you see several of the guards that are patrolling the walls. They whip around uh, as there's a flash as you land. Uh, <laughs> and they train their crossbows on Give you. Give them a salute. And like, hey guys. Right. Hello, boys. He's, they just wave and go back to their. <laughs> you can, you what hear what I'm saying? We're so much faster this time. It's really good. Thank yeah. you. Um, they really stopped doing that. I'm going to shoot them one day, and I don't want to be the person <laughs> who shoots that, you know? Really <laughs> and they walk off along the wall. <laughs> yeah. I will say it is about ten o'clock at night right now. It's quite late. Yeah. Jojo, jo, can so, you not throw some like healing into that body? See if it does anything. Uh, give it a try with mending for us, you guys. Yeah. Go right? try to walk up and mend it. Like just the first like little bit. And it can only do like. I mean, it's stone. Yeah, Make me a, a just a spell ca a spell a spell ability check. So, Jojo, your help. I need this guy. Charisma check plus proficiency. 
Okay. Like, so a saving throw? A saving throw would work, yeah. It's the same thing. As yes, okay. a medical professional, I'm watching this with the greatest interest. <laughs> I'll negative <laughs> two for you for the, um, <laughs> the shotguns. But yeah, if you roll a save, we'll okay. see what happens. Alright. I think I've already got the shotguns applied, so. Yeah. So. Nice. Wow. 20, um, 27. You, you, wa okay. you walk over and you ca you focus and you spend a, a minute casting the mending spell. That saves ridiculous. Mm. And. Uh, the arm returns to its original form. Okay, should we take the arrow out of the chest deep? Well, before Probably. we reactivate him, yes. So yeah. I'm gonna cast two words on a statue. Hey, that could be a nice bit of, um, let's say it could be a tool to get him to talk if the arrow is still inside him. We can or shove it, it back in, in his organs, and he would die. But if we take it out, there's a big hole for blood to spurt out. Also, if we take so... it out when he's a statue, if we could heal him. That's a statue. I well, um, I mean, he's stone, and we have stone shape. You can try okay. and cast on him. Yeah, well, what we can do is once we, we that heal big. him, once we get him off or back to human flesh, you can cast Cure Winds into it. I can do it. That's true. I just don't think, I just don't think we should take it out right now. I mean, it's kind of neat this way. It's quite a good statue right now. Very uh, yeah. It's so like, yeah. You know, I'm doing all of this. I'm going to, I'm going to be doing all the hard work. On this thing. Yeah. Um. <laughs> let's bring him inside where he can't die. Yeah. yeah. You head inside, um, carrying him under your arm. Yano. Oh Yano. Uh, you hear a guard say, "Um, uh, sorry, uh, Yano. Um, he's uh, gone to bed." Okay. Um, it's, 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 he, um, it was his first early night in like a week. I can get him Don't, if you want. Good for him. Uh, no, leave him alone. Here. Leave him alone. Oh, we, no, we just just a place where we can put this. Um, safe place. I can put it in the. I can put it in the storage room. No. Or can we not do this tonight? Daddy. I can put him in. I can put him in Yara's room. No, it could, it could be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yes. It could be. Funny. <laughs> could be. Um, uh, no, I think we'll, cool. uh, we'll hold on it, onto it until tomorrow. Um, yeah. And then get it stored and sorted, and then. Yeah. We'll talk let's, to Yano. let's put a. Let's wrap it in rope anyway, so it is tied, just in case something happens. So he is, like. Rope tied, and then just keep it in the room that we're sleeping in tonight. Uh, you're yeah. you're welcome to make use of the barracks. Yeah, That's fine. I mean, we'll take the barracks, please. <laughs> okay, so you carry your statue and yourselves up to the barracks. There are a few sleeping soldiers in there, or guards, um, but there are a handful of spare bunks. <laughs> And it is very much an open, like, 12 bunk barracks, large room. You've been in here before, actually, when you were trying not to kill them all um, mm -hmm. a while ago. Um, Awkward. And they're like, oh. you see a few of them, like, uh, get a bit worried as you start to wait, walk up the stairs. Um, Give them a wave. And they just kind of curl, they kind of just pull their blankets up slightly tighter. <laughs> yeah. And turn yeah. away from you. <laughs> you, pretty, you think you can hear a few muttering prayers. <laughs> Not that scary, guys. Uh, Come on. I'll, I'll drape the the bell, <laughs> the bell tra string trap around the guy. <laughs> like a nice necklace. Bells. bells. Yeah. A few of them. Get, a few of the guards like peek, just give you a curious look, and like, no, not going to ask. Just turn back over. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a sign: don't touch. <laughs> okay. Property of the deceit. Leave it alone. Yeah. Okay. So, Cursed, don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> As you write that, if you, uh, you watch two, of, very <laughs> you watch two of the guards. They kind of just, as you're doing this, they gather their pillow and their blankets and they just leave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just take it under their arm. Like, uh, good night. And 
they just disappeared down the stairs. <laughs> but <All right. laughs> so, is there anything else you'd like to do before settling down for the night? Uh, I just got shadow. Just go keep your eyes on the statue throughout the night, and just wake me if anything happens. Call, call. Just goes and sits on the statue. Yeah, I'll put you on the world map for now. Cause... I want to go and get Bodger, and I want to turn him into a badger right in front of the statue. <laughs> <laughs> Bodger growls. Interesting. I could turn things into things. You're not <laughs> Anything else that you want to do before sleep? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so you take you settle down for a long night's rest. Um, feel free to go ahead and make your long rests. Um oh, yeah, close my sheet. <laughs> so feel free to process your long rests. Uh, I'll move the day along. No, I'm keeping track or anything. I don't have any potions then today. That's fine. Because I use I use all my spell sets. Okay. So you settle down and you get yourself a comfortable long night's rest. As you come to, the guards that were in the room seem to have left. Um and you are currently alone. The statue still ringed with bells. And the cursed sign has not moved. It's still where it was. Um, the sign, by the way, is uh, punched through the uh, raised fin finger. <laughs> just hangs on there, just tilts off to the side. Um, you have the morning. What would you like to do? I asked Shadow, I go, I go, how attentive was the badger? If a, if a, if a raven could do that, <laughs> it would. <laughs> that's what he communicates to you telepathically, she. Yeah. Uh, and that's all I need to know. <laughs> Bodger's just there trying getting pets for being a very good boy. Bodger is. Like, I, he woke up in my bed, but, like, he's. He, I woke up in the middle of it. He spent a few hours trying very hard, and then he got <laughs> bored. Got bored. And, <laughs> and Kegu came to bed instead. So I'm not like going, oh, I'm petting him. I would do the same thing. Um, anyway, what would you like to do? Yeah. Breakfast first? Uh, that's, yeah, yeah, breakfast. Breakfast, and then get you guys' spells ready, and then let's do this thing. Let's talk to Yano, get this guy stored away for a while. Are we storing away, or are we Do we not turn him back? Well... I don't feel like we really have time for this right now. It's up to well, you. Surely we can do some sense of... Um, I don't even know how to turn him back to uh, flesh. Yes, Jojo? Jojo? I do. Like, okay, I, I think I do. I think. I like the restoration thing. I, if I like... Think really hard. I'm I really think I can. Spells work. I, I've that's, seen it. I mean, that's usually how I do Before, like, they're on... Like limbs. Yeah, it, it just. Sort of think I can do you, it on a person. You can. Great restoration. restoration will bring him back. However, there's no guarantee you can restone him um, afterwards. <laughs> um, no. Well, uh, what what good is he to us, anyways? Um, they lost the signet ring. Um, he will keep. <laughs> he will keep. <laughs> yes. Um. um I, I do have questions, but uh, I wonder if I need him in all his pieces. Or in pieces would suffice, maybe. That would, I, that would be painful. Uh, Break him down to a little sense of then cast right restoration. Uh, just a screaming mouth. I, uh, uh, <laughs> no, I we just find the it's... tallest tower we can find and push him off. <laughs> Rest, restore him on the way down. We, we, <laughs> I... I think we're best off. Uh, we're best off. Res him now. I don't believe it's per that's a morally good just to leave somebody petrified and deal with it as a sage. I think best off re petrify or 
on Pedro Finum, trying to get as many answers as we can from him, and then I'm sure they have some sense of jail here. I'm pretty sure we were stuck in it at one stage. <laughs> this is true. But now he is he is magical like this. So he he is magical, so we need to make sure he can we take everything away from him that he could possibly use. Take everything away, we could take away his wife, we could take away his home <laughs> cart. But for now we can just leave him. And we can't just... just leave him. We can, very much so. I yeah. feel iffy yes. about but the I I don't trust, I don't, I love Corvin here, but then I don't, you don't know when we're going to be back, we don't know who's going to be here when we're back, we don't know if it's going to be safe here, I just, he knows about you, he knows about us, just deal with it now, get it over with, and then just do what we need to do. You know, I've been chase, chasing this man. 20 years. I'll exactly. Take it. This is not gonna be over in a minute. Zim I raises know, his hand but... and says, uh, If you take his head off, can you put it back later? Maybe. But I mean, we, we did with his own. I, I thought about that, that so. And we don't know how that yeah. turns out when we actually re unstone him. Could be funny though. If, I, if only we had a dwarf <laughs> in the party who knew stone. <laughs> Just call Rory. Rory! Oi! <laughs> yeah, it's me. You remember? Yeah, no, I'm fine. He's not that far away, actually, right? Come look at this cool <laughs> rock we found. <laughs> He's not. Uh, I can't remember if he went to Mirabar or Mithril Hall. Uh, he went to Mithril Hall. He went back home. A little bit further away then. Um, um, no, I'll, I say we keep him just as he is. We put him in a jail cell. Jail cell. He's stone from what I know about my powers. Uh, this is mundane stone. Except for the fact that you can turn it back to flesh. Um, can I just raise, like, you know, Tyrael, my mom, who was turned to stone for a really long time and kind mm -hmm. of raised to like a long lasting talk yeah so I'm not comfortable with like I would rather you just shot killed him and shot at him and rather than just leaving him yeah I don't think it's the more the right decision just to leave him petrified I feel like if he and I are saying this then it's really something important to be paying attention to <laughs> <laughs> they make a good point I know Ranos, this Who are you is people? a lot for you. <laughs> I know it's a lot for you, Ranos, but I know you've been waiting a long time to get answers. But why wait longer when there's a chance that you might not get them if you wait for another time? I think this is Ranos' call. After the break. <laughs> this is, we've got plenty of time to the break. I'm making you make this choice now. Mm. <sighs> it's up to you guys. I need five minutes. Whatever y'all decide. I'm gonna okay. go get breakfast. We'll take we'll take <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> uh, so we'll take five <laughs> minutes break for in-game breakfast and out-of-game snacks, um, and we will pick up in five minutes. <laughs> Bye. Uh.
You okay? Yeah. Ooh. Sit something to myself. Out of curiosity, Tash, what do you use your laptop's microphone? Um. Maybe. What the one already in the laptop? Yes. Or do you use? A yes. Laptop? You do. Okay, that's fine. I don't know how else to do anything else. That's fine. Um, over the last few weeks, your audio has been a little in and out and difficult. You may have noticed. Right. So we might want to look at. Um, I could bring it closer to my face. It used to sometimes be closer to my face. Might be what it is. Uh, I'll let you know if it starts cutting out again because I don't think it's a connection issue because your video seems to be okay. Uh, uh, is this better? If I just talk it like this? I think so. It's now closer. Yeah. It oh. might be that I've got so I've been mo making my setup more comfortable for me, so it's the, the laptop itself is slightly further away from my face. Fair that enough. That might just be it. Might Whoa. be that, but um, we'll see how it goes over the rest of the rest of the session. Because sometimes it's all right, sometimes it's not. It's okay. You goody two shoes. Okay then, welcome back everybody. Uh, How are we goody two shoes? I'm already opposed. Well, well, well. <laughs> Said no one ever during the whole. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from when it comes to you, Ranos. Yeah. yeah. Like killing something that's attacking us is one thing. We've never really sentenced someone to torture within their own body before. I feel well. that this is a thing. We are supposed to be the good guys. Sure. This is basically torture. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I... he's... He's... It's not different from being dead. I think he is, technically. He's not knows. dead, he's in there. Otherwise there's nothing to... I mean... The soul's there. Like, he might not be doing it, but the soul's there. That's what kind of comes back. But it's not dead dead, because I... Stop making sense, will you? I don't understand this death stuff. I trained as a cleric under a curse person. This is something that we, like, that Maison did. Like, he was pretty good at it. I had to um, learn to pay attention to some things. I didn't pay attention to most things, but I had to learn something. <laughs> Nathan, yes. in terms of general law in this world, is like, for the worst criminals, is like, is it death penalty? Is it um, prison for life? What's a general for the worst criminals? Hand? Is would be execution. What do you do with like magic criminals? Like who aren't worse for us? Just like a magic and might get out of it. You kill them quicker. <laughs> but if they're not really bad, but they're just not good. Uh, like us. <laughs> like yeah. they used their magic to hold up a bank, but they didn't. They they actually took care of the people. There aren't many people like that. You just happen to have a really high occurrence rate of running into them. <laughs> um, um, they have, and and some of the bigger jails will have special anti-magic shirts. <gasps> I have special anti-magic things. Mm -hmm. So you just moved. We could go to Modern Canes and put him in one of the cages there. <laughs> That's anti-magic. <laughs> I think we're best off put him in a room where he can't see out of it because he's shown he's able to cast Missy Step. Um, we need to. Um, Sorry. I say, Jojo, make sure you prepare maybe a zone of truth, and as soon as you cast, uh, you hear them cast that, and then I think beforehand we need to know what we're going to question them about. Also, ask his corpse. Could do. It's too many options. options. Mm. A corpse. Now, now I'm not. I know I'm saying the more good everything of leaving and Patrick provide. Now, I don't mind you working actually hard if you get me to make them answer questions, but. Ultimately, Ranas, I think you're the one that decides his fate in terms of imprisonment, his life, or whatever you wish. I agree. No pressure. Mm. 
I never stopped to think what I would ask. I didn't think I'd ever find them. Why, of course, but somehow I get the feeling the answer won't be very satisfactory. We already know why, don't we? Oof. He had something to do with the signet ring and uh, he had to die. That's all we know. But now that they know it's gone, do you think they'll keep trying to kill you? I guess so. Pretty sure they want, re want revenge mm. for us destroying their favorite trinket. Why was the signet ring so significant for them? Well, I think um, Be a question. from uh, from what we could tell about the item, um, it made people made murdering people real easy, mm. and it was also blessed by Baal. So uh, <coughs> I'm guessing that more than anything. Fair enough. Mm. So we basically want the exact reason why he killed your dad. Do you want to know how? I, I have a pretty good idea now seeing this toad thing. Um, from the brief look we had, uh, the claws, uh, I think they could certainly do the job. Just, um, let's find a small room. All right. Let's do let's this. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You recall you've spent a lot of time here in Corvin, and um, there are plenty of rooms underneath the castle, lightless uh, and sealed off to a degree. Um, mm. If you want to go there, or you can do sure. one of the rooms. Most of them have got windows. No, we'll go to wherever they start the zombies. Okay. The kind of the oddly placed catacombs type area. Uh, you they had back... that off. It was. But those had barred doors, right? It... it did. I mean, you can go to the cells. We want somewhere where there's one way in, one way out, and no one knows. One way out. Uh, the cells. The jail. Yeah. Would serve mm -hmm. that. So, you head down. You carry your friend to the cell, down to the cells with um, his jagged, lovely chest piece still intact. Um, you arrive. You slot him down. What are you doing with the arrow? Are you leaving it in? Are you taking it out? <clears throat> As I leave it in, leave it in. Pull it out once he's alive. Heal the wound. <laughs> I'm gonna be in, to need to be there with him. Immobilize him and keep him from casting spells. I can do some of that. I'm gonna. It's gonna take me a few um, bits to lay. Looking at the guy, uh, he was some kind of wizard. He seemed to be Clever. some kind of caster. You're not sure what it. You didn't see. Okay, it. but he had to. Uh -huh. do, he had to do all the mumbo jumbo, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Speaking, casting. So, um, if you bind someone's fingers with a rope, can they cast? Depends on what the components are, but um, you look as you look as you were up close with this casting. It was more resemblant of what Scathe does. Mm -hmm. um, um. Now, what we can do to avoid all sense of spell casting by him is we have him already tied up. Keep him tied, get his hands bound, um, take away anything he could possibly use a spell cast with, then gag him and give him, get Zin to watch the door and give him Zin's um, badge so he can talk through his head, but can't verbally talk. Oh. Would that work? We can't bind him when he's stone. We no, like, so we have to, 
So we, we would have to we would have to gag him and everything when he's um, when he's back alive. But the spellcasters can watch out and look for a counter spell <laughs> yeah. um, as the rest of us just do the binding and everything. Oh, um, I have this nifty spell called uh, Gaius. Or that. That would probably do something. That would that would also be good. Yes. How about we take a big stone, put it on his chest, so he can't move? <laughs> or something. And then he just or has don't... to hold still for a minute. I have a plan. It involves a one, two, three, four, five step sequential spell casting for me. <laughs> I've got it all prepped. Jojo. Can you not hold the person? As I'm saying, magic circle stops some bound pain. Hold, great restoration cure wounds. Hold person, then zone of truth. Hold person lasts like not very long. Like keep. It going. will last long enough to keep to get him bound. Just raising a hand here. Do notes. <clears throat> it is the beginning of the day. And if you're planning to do other things today, feel free to blow blow half your spell repertoire. Um, <laughs> however. I, you, um, there were plans to do things today. Plans to do things, mostly plans to shout at people and go to different planes. Just saying. I'm not. You guys do whatever you want. I'm just watching the show, and it's quite interesting. <laughs> Let's uh, just um. Do you can you cast silence? No. I can. This is the thing. This is very me heavy. Well, I think between Zin and you, Jojo. Restraining this guy won't be an issue. Yeah. With silence, he can't cast. And if we position the silence well, I can cast Gaius into it. And then... And then he can't talk. No, yes. Yeah, it's fine. Once he's under my enchantment, he will talk. Yeah, like if, a you cast, so I can... if you cast silence around him, you cannot speak to him. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, I yeah. Can what I can do is you guys will bring him back Bring him back, and um, I can cast Hex to make him a bit less dexterous, so it's a lot easier to restrain him, and you can cast Chaos. Alright. Yeah, Johan and I can just hold him down while, and, and tie him up. We, we yeah, Jojo, Jojo, Zin, uh, Nira, everyone basically just hold him down while you cast a spell. I might cast the magic circle there anyway, it will stop accidentally doing the the, the bouncy thing. Because I can do that and it can keep. Counter spell, I guess. Mm. So, Jojo, I think initially just what you're going to do is. Um, Thank you, Wounds. Thank you, Wounds, and then just hold them until we get find out what happens. Well, I, I mean, I'm better for it if you guys have all time, but I just didn't... I just had a plan just in case nobody did. Yeah, I mean, are we ready to go? Which one are we doing? Uh, I think we're going to tie him a little. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we have all the rope anyway, so... If you tie his uh, hands, just around the hands and the legs, and once he goes through, you have... Basically, have a leash and can pop tie him then. Mm -hmm. And someone covered the mouth. Yeah, I think a plated glove will do. Let's stick yeah. my fingers down there. I, I'm sure Zane <laughs> has a smelly sock he can put down there. <laughs> Zane just holds up like six. <laughs> <laughs> Zin doesn't Are even wear those in layers. Gets cold. I was going to say, Zin doesn't even wear socks, he just collects them. <laughs> he went rather guards, bunk. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Well, yeah. Okay. okay, so. You're casting Great Restoration. Yes. Okay. Well, first, but tie. his hands and feet. Okay, you tie up what you can of his hands and feet, because they're in weird positions. But you can cut you his fingers off. That would be me. Um, you tie him up. 
Uh, and you tie you so you wrap some rope loosely around the feet, rope ro loosely around the hands. Um, so you're casting greater restoration. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have the rope at well, his feet. Yeah. So, no, so um, when I said tie him up, I meant just tie it around the ankles and the the wrists, and then you can hold him. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Basically, uh, once he's I'm... unfrozen, then he can tie the rope. I bet I just pull. The rope at his feet as soon as he's live again. That's and he's on his face. Yeah, I, I'm sure we can restrain him between the he's, six of us. Okay, just so you know, this guy's got a strength of eight. He's not going yeah. anywhere. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so you cast Greater Restoration, and you want. What about the arrow? The arrow is still in there right now. Pull it up now? I'm gonna cast. Uh, oh, prop out for me, so the prop out for him. I'm gonna cast Healing Word as my bonus action just after I cast Greater Restoration. Sure. Okay. So, uh, so do it kind of simultaneous. Uh, so, arrow out. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You pull out the arrow, and it pulls out, and it was lodged a good, probably about two to three inches inside the chest. And as you can see a nice crack down the center where it was. Mm. Um, you reach out, Jojo, and you cast. Greater restoration upon um, break a rib or two. the indiv individual. It's kind of in the sternum. Um, so you cast greater restoration, and you watch as slowly the dull grey stone. Uh, Near, I'm getting a little bit of feedback from you. Uh, as the dull grey stone begins to lighten and crack, as the stony exterior falls away. Revealing um, the pe pinkish, peachy f uh, flesh underneath of the tanned skin of this individual. As you do so, uh, there's, there's, as the hole in the chest becomes much more prominent, um, as you cast Healing Word at him, he goes, ah, 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 no dying, and uh, you heal him for, we'll just say, eight points, for example. And you watch as the, there's, as the stone dissipates away, a small spurt of blood just pfft, spurts out, you're, no, 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 pfft. and it's, um, the, the hole does not seal up, but the blood stills or slows, it's, it's still a little trickle just heading out in his chest. As he does so, the rest of you grab onto those ropes and you pull taut on them, so he's like, Ugh! and you can kind of see this sh look of shock and confusion on his face. As he kind of finishes finishes out his, his death. As you pull him taut. And he's like, no. Uh, Is he on the ground? Uh, he's kind of, I, I've imagined you've kind of pulled four ropes and he's kind of, kind of like held held aloft right now. A um, bit splayed. And he kind of just looks confused right now. And doesn't understand what's going on. What are you going to do? I'm covering his mouth. And go... Right, not now. I start casting gears. You can kind of see he's a bit panicked and looking around, and you can see he's looking, taking in his surroundings, and he struggles. And eventually, after a few seconds of struggling, he just, he, he just seems to give in. His limbs go limp, and he stops standing. and just starts to drop to the ground, and just stares at the ground as you cast the spell at him. Okay. <laughs> Wisdom saving throw? Um, I think. No. That's a failure. Uh -huh. So you cast. Let me just put this. Can you post the spell for me? Sure. Okay. Ah, too bad I don't have a. It's fine. Slot of 7th level. <laughs> Wow. So you've finished casting the spell and you can just see he's kind of uh, he's slumped on the floor you're kind of still binding his hands and he's just kind of on his knees got a gag in his mouth and he's just heavily breathing as much as he can through his nose mm -hmm. and just staring down at the ground as the spell I'll, uh, I'll go down to his eye level and pull out the sock Hello. He just looks at you. 
What's your name? If I tell you, will you grant me death? Eventually. I, I am, I'm Darius. Darius Marat. So, Jojo, can you roll the healing word for me? Um, what level? You can only cast it at one or two. I'll go first. You can see now, Ranos, he's kind of staring at you. He's just got this defeated look on his face. So you sick one of your toads on my father? Uh, my guess. No, not as dumb as you look, eh? Well, thanks. But why? I know about the ring and everything, but there's more to that. I'm not going to tell you. Does he not take Psyche 10? Yeah, you haven't damage? told him to tell you. You've no tell me. Oh, that's how it works. You have to give any, him a any command. command you... Okay. You say to him, tell me. You didn't. You asked him a question, it's different. Yeah, okay. But he tell is me charmed. Why. Hmm? He is charmed. It's, that's what he does. It's charmed, so it takes damage. It doesn't say. It's, it's, it's a bit strange wording. It's um, Chandra's condition. Yeah, it's it's mm. just but, like fear imposes the frightened condition. Yeah. Um, I s as you say, so sorry. Well, I it? command him anyways. Tell me. Make me a persuasion check. He makes it with advantage because he's charmed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thirty-three. He spits on the ground. <laughs> because he betrayed us. He was one of you then. That's what we thought. Apparently not. Went to great lengths to prove it though. <laughs> it starts dribbling a bit of blood. Geo, can you make sure that wound is clear and doesn't cause any mishaps? Do what I can. I do the healer thing on him. Sure. While the conversation's going on, you kind of bandage him up a little. Yeah. He doesn't resist. Splash of whiskey to the face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so an infiltrator? Or did he just turn? I don't think he was ever one of us in the first place. So what was he? A harper? No. Can't be certain, but we think it was the thieves that sent him. The shadow thieves? Then. Huh. So... Just business, then? Just business. We only wanted back what was ours. Well, we'll never get that unless you forge it. There is no forging the relic of a god. That's my point. I um, lost, and I have failed. Why are you... Why do you do what you do? Tell me. I enjoy it. That much is obvious, but um, any higher reason? Are you commanded by your god? No. He rewards, but he does not command. He, we, lost.
lost his favor when our rel his relic was lost to us. <clears throat> hmm. I'm sure he's pretty pissed by it now. Indeed. I only ask that when you are done here that you send me to see him. Sorry, I didn't get that. Sorry. I only ask that when we are done here that you send me to see him. And also help me, I will repay the favor to you. The favor? If you don't kill me, I'll find a way to kill you. Simple as. Well, I can't have that. So, um, where's your base of operations? Exactly. Make another persuasion check. Advantage. That looks it just looks at you, that defeated lo look just um, sinking down. It was water deep. No more. So but you're, you have a base in Athkatla, so where's that? We have cells everywhere. Bases, no. Our followers are scattered. Nowhere to call home. No one to guide them. Do you have any secret uh, handshakes, codes? Make another persuasion check. If you wish to meet, you present the heart of one of your enemies. The heart of... Sorry, I, sorry it's, one it's, of your it's enemies. Off. Ooh, I get plenty of those. Indeed. As did your father, apparently. Quite red were his hands. What did he do? Whatever we asked him to. For example? killed a great many men. Some of his colleagues, some of his friends. He was eager to prove himself, and now I know why. Why's that? He wanted to get close, he wanted to take our relic, he wanted to empower the thieves. They wanted oh. our spot within Waterdeep. After they were forced out. Well, it seems to have worked. If only 20 years later. Well. Are we done here? The skates are going to go up. What do you know? Of the assassins within water deep. The what, sorry? The assassins within water deep. Every city has its underbelly. We were pushed out. Good, good adventurers you heard... sent after. You've heard of uh, the boys of all brigade? He thinks. Perhaps. Tell him. I heard they were wiped out. Assimilated. Many, many of the old gangs were brought to heel. You ever heard of a murderous bastard called Four? Are you sure about that? Yeah, are you? Yes. I was not based there. The skate turns off, 
Claire get pissed off. Um, he does say, if you wanted to find him, you'd have to ask the Scarlet Hood. Ask who, sorry? The Scarlet Hood. <laughs> they control the streets. Well, they did before it all went to shit. What do you know about these, uh, towers? I know enough to keep away from them. Not something. I heard rumors they were causing trouble down south in the jungles. Jones. Yeah. You should have seen it. Someone's stirring up trouble down there. Someone's looking for powerful fighters, wide and far and wide. Something about a tournament. <coughs> but it wasn't my business. Now you're gonna do the decent thing and kill me. Or you let go of these ropes and see who kills the other. He's still booked, he's still very rough and you can still see as he's speaking he's still got those bits a few bits of blood dripping from his mouth he was very near death well if you all could leave the room please go on I passed by, uh, yeah pa right now it's on the path and then head out the door he was not bound, but he, he rises to his feet, but does not do anything else. He just looks, as you all filter out to shut the door behind you, he says to you, Ranos. He just holds his arms out. Come on. Make my day. Punk. <laughs> um... I got death weapons? You have rape, Jack. Oh, yeah. Um. Magic missile. <laughs> Good stab. Damn, yeah, look at this. <laughs> Just with a wand in the eye. <laughs> no. Um. He just sits there, kind of, just kind of dro half drooped, just smiling at you. Is he sitting? He stood up. Okay. Um, I'll draw the rapier, place it on his jugular. Doesn't resist. And, um... For what's it, for what's it worth, I forgive you, since it was just business. Then I... <laughs> Always business. As you pierce through... And your blade pops out on the other side and he just coughs and splutters. Still that smile upon his face before he drops down to his knees with a heavy thud. And it, You've heard people drop before and there seems to be a weight to the drop. Just, and he just falls down to the side with a heavy with a, with a, with a slop and begins to bleed out on the floor lifelessly. Still with that grin upon his face. Um, I'm. I, I stay until I have the feeling that he's dead, dead. Keep him a minute. Look at him. He doesn't seem to be moving, and you watch that kind of the the light of life die in his eyes as they kind of go a bit dull and grey, and his body kind of um, darkens slightly. And you're pretty sure this guy's not getting back up without any heavy divine assistance. I leave him with a rapier and uh, start heading out. Okay. You head out and everyone else is kind of waiting up the corridor for you. Just past them. Not now. You head off. Drinks then. 
Oh, right, it's breakfast even. <laughs> it's bre right, breakfast, it's breakfast time. I mean, breakfast meats, I think. <laughs> so you head upstairs where um, a sleepy yarn is like, oh, Hi guys, I didn't know you turned up. Yeah. And just as I got my first good sleep in ages. Arno, you have a clean up in Cellar 3. <laughs> oh, he just looks down and sighs. Is it urgent? Can I have my toast? You can have your toast. I've already had breakfast. I'll go store and clean up. Thirsty everywhere. Thank you. And he sits yeah. down I... and starts buttering his toast. By the way, on the way up, I'm just going to turn to Joe and go, do you have any loot on them? I can stop. I didn't rummage. It, it was a statue. Like, I can't go in any pockets. There's no pockets. That's also what I'll be doing downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you rummage through his pockets quickly, you will find a grand total of 25 gold coins and also an engraved ceremonial looking dagger uh, that seems to be coated in uh, a dark liquid. Probably looks like blood. Oh, also the Rasova signet ring. And the Rasova signet ring. And the thing is, when oh. you pick up the dagger and you try and clean it off, um, it doesn't, it still remains crimson. We're gonna identify it. I'm probably up somewhere on the uh, on the towers. So you yeah. can when I bring it back up. If she brings it back. <laughs> okay. So you spend a bit of time. You clear up. You clean up the mess a little bit. Um, the guards come to take over and they go to take the body away for burial. Um, you have some breakfast, and uh, Ranos, you head up to one of the towers just to be with your thoughts for a little bit. Um, what is that? Is there anything anyone wants to do at this point? Check on Skaith just because he got very passionate about Stark. And I'm like, like I know Ranos probably isn't okay, but you okay. That was very. Um, I've made the decision I need to be better. And um, the old states would have let him rot and wouldn't really give a shit. But I need to start going on better paths. But, uh,. Path may be dark. Please make it a better one. We've got at least half an hour. Come for a walk with me. Let's go. Do I walk or do I fly? <sighs> What's gonna not have you throw up on things? I can fly without throwing up. But then let's fly. I cast flying at the bottom of a couple flying for a ten minute. <laughs> uh, As I shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As we fly over pyramids and <laughs> Paris and everywhere in the world. <laughs> a whole new world. We vaguely wave at Manos at one point and then leave her to his thoughts because we're good people. Awesome. Sometime after the cleanup is done, I will take the dagger to Renos. Okay. I'm gonna find him first, but you know. You take, you spend a few minutes and you you look around, and he's he's relatively easy to find. He's not hiding. Um, he's just kind of on one of the balconies, um, overlooking the Cor Corvin town. Just kind of walk up. Just kind of bump him with the hilt of the dagger. Just be like. Found this on the guy. Might want to check it out. Ugh. Yeah. I tried cleaning it. It doesn't clean. It's really weird. 
So overdramatic, these guys. Yeah, a little bit. Well, all right, I'm curious. <laughs> like seven, <laughs> seven invisible snipers to take you out, dude. That's, um, that's probably. As you you identify the dagger, it is a magically enchanted dagger. Um, it appears to be a, um, a. It's not necessarily a weapon as such. It is a sac. It is like a ceremonial ritual dagger. Uh, mm-hmm. It appears to be used for making sacrifices, uh, and mm. it seems to have just this perpetual blood enchantment on it to as part of the rituals that it performs. Interesting. Did we find one of these before, or was it the B team? Did we? I think B team. B team mm. were yeah. the only ones to really interact with these guys. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not the Catalan. Very well. <laughs> so it's also a magic weapon, out. but. Not a plus one or anything. No, no, it's, yeah. it is an enchanted yeah, okay. ceremonial dagger. You probably, you, it would probably do well to stab someone with, but it wouldn't do any better than a normal dagger. Right. <laughs> Apart from it, leave them okay. very messy. Also, I'm going to take out the Resova signet ring. Do you want this one back too? Oh, well, I mean, it does look good. So. <laughs> <laughs> this goes with the outfit. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, when I found out that they had my parents at the bottom of that tower, I would have raised the whole place to get them back. So, I can understand looking for answers for a really long time to something that you never know if it's going to affect anything. Yeah. It didn't help. <laughs> Stabbing the guy. It's just business. <laughs> and I believe him. It's like your dad was involved in some bad business. Well, he and I are not so different. At least this guy's dead now. Can't harm anyone else. Yeah, if the rest of them can. Well, they licked the uh, wounds and uh, shit their pants at the mention of our name, I hope. <laughs> at least those few that ran well. Yeah. I guess this guy is uh, more of a ringleader. So. Yeah. If they really are disconnected, then at least uh, some damage will be mitigated. That's... Uh... <sighs> I guess the only solace I can take. <laughs> I should write to mother. Mm. Haven't done a long while. Oh, yeah, one last gift. Free beer. <laughs> if you oh. wanted this in the back. You keep it. Oh! I don't think I want it anymore. I don't think I can use it. Hang on. <laughs> you won't be proficient <laughs> in it, but it, it's a very nice rapier. It's got a lot of kills okay. to its name. Many wolves. Yeah. It's like three wolves and... It's the wolf's bane. Goblin. I know. I just... I don't want it. Okay. We'll Take have it mounted. Take the dagger too. Oh, okay. Will it fit in one of my like regular dagger sheaths? Yeah. Because I already have two of them. It's a bit of a it's a bit <laughs> elongated, but it would fit. Uh-huh. Was there a sheath that came with it? Um, we'll say yes. Okay, I'll just replace one of my other daggers. You have a uh, a dagger of eternal bloodletting. Hmm. Badass. It sounds cool. It sounds badass. badass. <laughs> yeah. What, the dagger of eternal bloodletting. What does it do? Kind of just stain your clothes. Uh, yeah, it's more of a nuisance. Gotta be careful than not to. Else. Gotta be careful not to wash it with a bunch of whites. That's it. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> don't put it in with your white daggers and white. Ah, oh, it's just a nightmare. <laughs> However, I bet it would do really well as a feature in Assassin's Weekly. Yeah. True. Well, um, I get to writing. Uh, fetch me once we go. Okay. Okay. Get back downstairs. At this point, okay, the fly spell ends and you 
very quickly hurtle back down. And you did drop back down. Um, and eventually, unless there's anything else anyone else anyone wants to do, uh, reconvene at the uh, in the Great Hall. Mm-hmm. This is mm-hmm. anything, is we should anything probably, else? you know, take a nice hour break, you know, take a nice short rest so I get that spot slot back. <laughs> <laughs> if that is what yeah. you desire, then your group can do that. You know, we need to eat and everything. So it we can do it the other side. Though, so. Not like we're going straight. Skate says, man, Jake, but it has to be practical. <laughs> It was very sweet. Um, yeah. I'll go walk to right now so I pat him on the back. He's still upstairs reading. I don't know. Where is he? Where he's, he's, he he goes back he's, write, he's writing a letter. Yeah. Alright. Oh, that'll be... If we're all meeting in the Grand Hall. So where to next? Are we going to go to Succumber to Feywild? Yeah, I think that's the plan. Yeah. That's the next move. Do we need to do anything before we go to Feywilds? Or are mm. we just going in blind? If there's anything that we can have other people that are staying on the Prime do while we are gone, because we might be gone for a long time. I did if just think a- of something. If there's anything we can automate, Yes, no. Um, did we ever get that book back from Wes? No, so the one missed... that he was supposed to give us for Candlekeep? Um, he no, he didn't give you anything back yet. Well, we we've yeah, we been gone. We've literally been gone for like <laughs> you left Candlekeep ten like hours, today. a day and a half, maybe a day and a half ago now. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> so they didn't give you a time frame on it. Yeah, but if we want research done while we're gone... Then they're already working, are they not? No. You didn't give them anything, you kind... Because you pushed through the night, you covered off all of the research topics that you gave me. Mm. Um, You've done a lot of research at this point. You've done a lot of research in the Candlekeep, you did a lot of research in modern Gaimans. Um, There's only... uh, There's a limit to how much books can tell you. Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to go on a complete <sighs> tangent and start learning about Baal. Um, no. I think we're good. Something might come up. In so you've already got the wizards and the wizards and also Deckard. Uh, or I forget what his actual name was. Uh, it may have been Deckard. Uh, I've got it in my notes. Uh, and Vigil researching getting through the anti-magic barrier as well. So you've got them working on that already. Wes is working on Modern Canaan's Tower. Um, so other people are doing things for you at the moment. Mm-hmm. You got the uh, um, the yeah. the shadow, sorry, the nightborn are also un- working under the command of General Ember Main. Mm-hmm. So, Do we actually know anything about this Haran Haranosa? Is how you pronounce it? The uh, Fey Hadronissa. Last link. Haranissa does last seen with the Feather Gale. Or Geo Hadronissa. How much? In- oh, sorry, Hadronissa is the name of the wild Hadronissa. hunt. Hadronissa. Oh, so, do we want to? Do you have much incense left? Do we want to try to legend lore her? Are we just gonna go into a fey hall, try to find a bunch of elves, and ask? Are we going to go to Lucky and see what he does and see if we can play some games to get some more information? Yes. Or the unicorn. Do. Or you have Alador. Mm-hmm. The unicorn may be an option. Now, I think the unicorn last time asked for a favor for a favor. Yeah. Which? But at least we know a unicorn is as pure as it sort of gets in terms of the unlikeliness of being double-crossed. Yeah. As far as fake yeah. creatures go, they're pretty, you know. So... They can't even hold a knife to step you with. <laughs> Apart from, you know... They have the a knife on their head. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's true. What? What? I just imagine what? a horse with a knife yeah. in its head. <laughs> <laughs> 
Was the um uh, was the unicorn? Did he have his like own sort of mini plane within Feywild, or did he just was in a he had an like, enchanted uh, forest? <laughs> so he was the lord of that forest. He was the forest lord there, um, and yes. he kind of looked over um, what effectively was. If you were going to give it an equivalent, let's find uh, second, but it kind of he looked uh, looked after like the misty forest. So mm -hmm. if you want to look on the map, it was roughly there. He kind of was in that area, uh, but the misty forest extended round. So he looked after. Uh, he was the, the lord of that particular wood. Yeah. Uh, and you found him in his enchanted glade. Mm -hmm. Sorry, was that so on our map? Did you click? I might have missed it, sorry. So yeah, so he, he oh. was there. Down there. Yeah, so you, that's why you were quite close to the rowan tree. Um, however, from the rowan tree to the, mist, to the glade, it took you, I think it was three days of travel. Mm -hmm. to get from Rowan Tree so, to his glade. But they are within the same forest. Didn't we come out of the Rowan Tree? You did, but you went in, you kind of, you found the glade, you did the job yeah. for the for Elador, he then escorted you to the Rowan Tree on, in right. the Feywild right. side, because he told That's you right. there was a way for you, that was the way he had for you to get back. So he can't plane shift, and you can plane shift it then. Uh, the tree was your connection between the two worlds. And he took you from his right. plate uh, after you dealt with uh, Grafa um, and then headed, walked you up. So, we, like I said, Rowan Tree uh, and the Glade, about three days of travel apart within the Fey world. Uh, mm -hmm. So then, do we want to try to use Amla Plane to bamf somewhere and then bamf to the edge of the glade and go talk to him and then head to Feywild he's in the Feywild he's in the Feywild so you'd have to bamf oh. into the Feywild sorry okay sorry I was sorry that's fine Misty Forest I he was buried in... in no so he's in the Feywild but the Miss, the Feywild is a kind of a mirror of the Prime Material um, oh so... is it okay sorry I thought it was a completely different world no no so the Feywild is and you'd know this from your research about the Feywild is kind of a um, a mirror set, set up to a certain degree as if you mirrored the worlds when they were split and the age of the divine and then one of them the Feywild was kind of left to grow wild so it has the, okay. a similar setup um, however if you if you left it to the nature nature and wild magic for a thousand years Mm-hmm. Okay. So then we have the option of taking a heartstone to Sucumber and going to the Feywild that way, or we can chance the Amulet of Plains to try to get to the directly to the Enchanted Glade. Yep. I pretty much hmm. kind the... of wanted to go to Sucumber anyway. Yeah. For me, and also just in terms of war effort, getting provisions and supplies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Apologies, Nathan. Sorry, I was getting confused. Sorry. That's so, right. how far away? If we go through the, if you go uh, into the tree, in... if you go into the Rowan tree, you yeah. will end up in part of the Misty Forest in the Feywild. And when you're in the Feywild, it took you roughly three days to get from the Rowan tree to Elador's Glade. Okay, mm -hmm. so pretty significant. That's a lot of time. You're not yeah. talking small distances. So oh, we're we're probably best if we're gonna go to Cumber, we can just do it and then try Amulet of Plains anyway. Yeah. Is everyone okay with that idea? Yeah. Save this time. Do you do you feel the force? Uh, yeah, has sure. he ever been there? Geo has not. Yeah. Are we going straight to the I, I forget. No, you you have. Sorry, I forget. Yeah. My timelines, okay. they're messed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. No well, then, what I'll say is we go... Do you need to tune to the Amulet? Nope. I have it. Okay. So then I say we go get Ranas. Nier, you do your thing. Bring us a scumber. Jojo, you do your thing then, what you need to do there, and then we're going to try to bounce this afternoon to meet Eleanor. If that's 
agreeable with everybody. Yeah. Okay. Let's go get Dad. <laughs> As I'll go upstairs and I'll knock on the room that Ranos is in. Still up on the balcony. Brooding. He's bro He's looking <laughs> over the city. He's got his cloak wrapped around him. The shadows fall we weird across his face. Uh, but you turn around, Ranos, and Skate has come to see you. I, I just, I sit, I stand in the doorway and go, hey, Rolls perverse, Mr. Edge. <laughs> I guess. You alright? Well, no, not really. It'll take some time, I think. To really sink in. The answers are never gonna feel enough. No. It's all about just... It's just about coming to terms with it. Maybe not, I can't. Now there's nothing left to hide behind. I thought it would be more satisfying, but... No. Well... If... Getting the answers and killing an assassin might not be enough for you. How about saving the goddamn world? Already? Are we leaving? Yep. We gotta get me some fancy ash sword and cloak. Mm. Well, I'll be glad to assist you then. Alright. Oh, I have lost my sword. I, I think I deserve a new one. <laughs> yeah, I I I give him my sword. Why? Thank you. And then I start walking. And I instantly puff it away. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is okay. Boiled <laughs> again. Okay. Right. Damn rogue warlocks. I mean, I head down <laughs> there to meet with the rest of the group. Yeah, I follow him. <sighs> How do you deliver a letter half across the continent? Yeah, I know he's just halfway through, finishing his toad. I'm, I can help there. I actually, I can do that. I can. I if you need, know how I would one. If you need to post a letter, I can. I post a lot of letters. I Even if it's uh, like three, four thousand miles away? I've done worse. I get priority postage. Mm. Favor and prime. <laughs> yes, Keith? Uh, one sec. I. I'm feeling. Uh, Rose can know how to do something like that. But yes, post away. Well, Yano, I leave this sealed letter in your capable hand. He takes it. Addressed to uh, on wall in Russia, man. Um, Rob wipes crumbs away from his face. Um, I'll make sure it gets there. Uh, it might take some time, but. Well, yes. It took us like uh, a few months to get to the, to the west. Like then. So. I expect uh, the same in the different in the, the other direction. Um, just tell me how much it costs, and I'll cover it. Don't worry about it. You've got a world to save. Postage isn't really on your agenda. Well, thank you. No, thank you. All right. Uh, are we going? Let's go. Yep. Already humming. It's a combo. <laughs> oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs>
Just give him a thumbs up. Thanks, bye. As best as I can. Bye. As you see, I could do with that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> as you through the astral sea once again, and you're heading to the ruin tree. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, as you float through the astral sea, you see a beacon uh, in the distance, a large tree-shaped beacon, and you have hurtle towards it. Um, I'm, you know I'm increasing the DC as we go, so it doesn't make a difference if, unless you nap to any of that, you're going. Um, however, you <laughs> hurtle towards the tree, and you find yourself returning to material plane. But as you do, normally you feel the the solid ground at your feet, but that is not what you feel this time. As you all look down, and you're kind of dis you're dangling in the air. And you appear to have all caught on various branches up in the trees. <laughs> as you landed. <laughs> Skaith is hanging by his underwear. <laughs> shucking up. <laughs> uh, it's just kind of turning slowly. How can a man that pretty be such a dumbass? <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't take you long. You get manage to get yourselves down. And you are within the ruined wood once more. It is quiet. The birds are chirping. The birds are chirping, and the ambient sound of the forest that greets you as you start to make your way to Sucumba. And I did have another picture for Sucumba, but I lost it, so you got this one instead. Without the problem. So oh, yes, you can send me pictures. New pictures. That's so, fine. where to? What are you doing? Should uh, I head up to the castle? Like, uh, it's. So, it's one people who are mobile and close versus one. Go to your room. Uh, uh, your other dad. Not so great dad. No, I mean the one that was actually the nice guy. Oh, uh, uh, um, yeah. I swear, I collect dad figures. I'm happy, I keep hoping one of them works out, which I'm still in the kind of. <laughs> well, he seemed to like you. Yeah, but when he answered to my dad, ultimately, my, my birth dad, this is it's complicated. I'm gonna find the lamp. Well, I think he has oh, a nice. soft spot, so he'll, uh, I think he'll have. Yeah, to <laughs> persuade your father. Uh, I'm not going as me anyway, I'm going to see. That's fair. So, are you heading up to the estate? Mm -hmm. Okay. As you, as a group, approach the estate, you see two guards posted by the outer gate. Um, as you, as you approach, they both raise a hat. One of them raises a hand uh, and studies you. Uh, and you see a look of recognition across his face. Ah, uh, Lady Johanna, welcome home. Oh, come on in, come on in. And you watch as the other guard leads and whispers to him. Oh, yeah. Um, and they both take their. They've got. The, what are they saying? Make a perception check. Saying. Literally. You you over here, it's like you idiot. They're not meant to be here. Got exiled, remember? He's like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, and they both put their. They kind of lean their uh, their spears in across formations. Uh, I'm sorry, my lady. Uh, we've got orders to not let you in. Um, I'm here. Uh, not welcome. None of you she are. is not here as Lady Elizabeth Johanna Rowood. Johanna Elizabeth Rowood, whatever. It, I have like names. Names. That's the short form. We are here as Igneum Seat to request aid for the war effort. This is about saving the world. Uh, uh, make a persuasion check. <laughs> With advantage. <laughs> I think it's different if they know you, Space. Uh, wait here, miss. I'll be back in a sec. And one of the guards Thank you. heads back inside. The other guards just kind of stood there awkwardly, so he's sort of like, So, how you been? You do know I can kick your ass, right? <laughs> he just nods. And then goes back to being quiet. Um, a few moments later, uh, about five minutes pass, and um, the guard returns, and you see kind of um, slowly walking behind him is the family butler, Wilhelm, uh, you met before. 
and he <laughs> heads out to the gate. He, he turns to the guards and says, um, I, I, I can deal with this. Um, run along. Um, but we need to run along and just shoes them away. <laughs> okay, we'll do a patrol. And they wander off. So Wilhelm walks forward and he walks up to you. Um, your hand and he goes, Ah, oh, my lady, it is, it is good to see you again. How, how do you fare? I am continuously not dead. <laughs> this is good to hear. Um, uh, you, the opposite being true would be truly sorrowful. Um, that happened once. I got better. You seem to be doing very well for it. Um, mm. I, I am sorry. Your, your, your father has forbidden your entry into the in, into the estate, but I can. I will assist in any way that I can. You were you here for the. You said you were here for the war effort. We technically outrank him, pretty sure, because we're the leaders of the war effort. It is uh, maybe so. Start from the top. Um, so, our orders technically supersede it. Um, I am still bound to. I know. Sorry, Don't I'm in a difficult I, position. I know, boy. Are you okay? I'm well. Are you sure? Yes. I know I'm being enough, but it doesn't mean I don't care. I understand. It was always your way. But please tell me, you have, you did not come back to chat here with an old man. I mean, kind of, yes, but also we're going to shout at him and also we're going to recruit some people and then we're going to go and get go into another plane and get some stuff and then save the world. I see. Sorry, I'm it's still not sure of your purpose of your visit. We need supplies for the armies. We've got people, we've got men, we've got supplies, we've got trade. So you might have heard about these towers going up in Waterdeep well, and other places. Well, has reached us, yes. A, a number of our standing garrison has been dispatched. We remain only a token guard patrol here to maintain the peace. And even they're not doing very well. We might need more. We have given all that we can in men. We we struggle to even repel the bandits at our borders. Uh, are the bandits so brazen to attack the town openly? We, we have but potentially a Two dozen guards remaining. We are a, we uh, are a trading much. village, a, a farming town. We are not hit. We are not built for war. You should have then sent those two guys. <laughs> We've been better off. Well, Edward and it, they find they're gonna die. They've been idiots since they were children. <laughs> they make relatively okay guards. Um, hey. <laughs> uh, so sorry, the bird. There's, there's, there are bugs in the room, and oh. the cat likes to eat bugs, and then just attempt to climb a, br a blind <laughs> to get to said bugs. She's not a smart <laughs> cat. <laughs> and she's now being lifted up to catch the bug. Sorry. <laughs> I know this is game breaking, but this is important work. Uh, <laughs> skate or go? Um, anyway, he says, we, we, we have given much, as much as we can. We may be able to send some supplies, but our caravans are being raided. Have you got any of the Havish? Something uh, we can help with? Do we need to take these guys out? If you've, well, we have not the forces left to, uh, Dispatch guard. Uh, we do not have the forces left to dispatch to deal with these brigands. Um, were they to be removed, perhaps we could provide you with further aid. And I guess what they get most clear out of bandit camp. We can. They are not far to in the hills to the west. Hmm. Are the the dragon slayers in town? Do they come through here? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> um, Random cat. That was 
yeah, as you watch as this cat <laughs> runs over Wilhelm. Um, <laughs> I do not know these dragon slayers you speak of. The they they uh, operate, I think, further east towards uh, Lork, was it? <laughs> that maybe towards no, the wastes. <laughs> yes, uh, I was hoping maybe I, we could help you with uh, some coin to hire these to slay these uh, bandits. If that is what you wish, but Lork is some distance from here. It's about a week. How travel. far away is the camp? The camp? Um, a few hours out of town, from what I know. I turn to Jojo and just go. This is your home. I'm going. Sorry, Are we this gonna is... go kill, kill some yeah. fox and then go ahead? Do we need to come? It would be nice uh, to they, they, they I are, don't. They are fearsome bandits. It may I'm take fierce. all of you. I well. We're going. <laughs> That's kill some bandits. You insist. <laughs> Back to the roots. Can you? Can yeah. you do a favor? Uh, I I will try. Tell the Lord I found one. Uh, okay. And that. If I die before he sees me, he's gonna regret it. We need to talk. Even if we just look at each other. I need We're gonna go find some um, I'm. I. I go I over understand. to. Can I go over to Jojo and whisper, cup, uh, into her ear? Yeah. Um, maybe mention that she's also alive. Not just found, and that we lost her again, and I that she's in water deep, and then maybe that will incentivize. I don't know. You're such a romantic. You can tell them. Well, right, I'm gonna hug. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna hug Willow, and then just keep going down the road. Okay. I roll my eyes and tell Willow what I've just said. That's fine. He's he. Uh, I understand. I I will relay your message. So it's personal. I hope. He just nods. Uh, let's go see about these bandits then, huh? I light some people on fire. <laughs> I go to catch up with Jojo. Okay. And I want to Sam Sider while she's I'm guessing the head of the party. And I just go it's a plan to come back here once everything's said and done. Save the world. I don't really have time to for saving the world if we are all still alive. Well, maybe. Hi. We gotta keep the option open then. Let's kill some bandits. And I'll summon a bow. Let's go. Should we get a wagon? I'm walking for a few hours. <laughs> we can <laughs> walk. <laughs> Back like the old days, Ranos. Back like the old days. We had a wagon on the first session. He did. He got attacked <laughs> by bandits. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, how about we do a reverse ambush? Where they think they're ambushing us, but we're ambushing them, actually. Uh, I could just... Then we just go in and we just blow up everything we can see. I'm just gonna say... We re-raid them. <laughs> Will but why are they bandits? Surely they must be, must have fallen hard, on hard times and themselves, or otherwise they wouldn't be hiding out in the woods. And my experience with bandits is they are bad people who murder people and then create pain and have it for everybody. What else. if they're just farmers? That we, their the church was destroyed. They had no other choice. The church had open charity. If they need 
needed the help. It's always a choice. If they've asked for it, like we would have given it to them. Well, I mean, we don't make the best choices, so... So we're just gonna roll in and fireball them? Yes. And then sure. they'll be gone, and then they'll be dead, and I don't have to worry about it. If you ever raise your moral finger to me again... <laughs> yes, they won't be talking, they'll just be dead. The difference. I would kick your ass. <laughs> okay. So you guys head out of Sukompa, and after about two hours of walking, um, you notice uh, to the hills to the north of you that you can see a thick trail of smoke drifting up. There's a there's some there's some a small what appears to be a small wooded area, uh, kind of the backs onto is some hilly terrain, and you can see the very noticeable uh, plume of thick black smoke just wafting into the air. About a How mile or two far away you. is it? Not very far. A couple of miles. Half an hour's walk, maybe. Let's go. Let's get close. And then I can do a recon. Or re- not recon. Recon. <laughs> as, <laughs> re- as, as, conversation. As, we did go. Shadow. <laughs> okay. Are you guys being sneaky? So you head over and you get to the wooded area. And you can just you can still see the smoke above the tree line, but as you descend into the woods, um, are you going sneaky? Sure. Okay. Yeah, and who's sneaky. heading? Who's heading the charge? Who's leading your expedition it... through the woods? Uh, it probably be Zin. It's probably the best off to not. Okay. If you can get Zin safe. to roll me a a survival check to navigate the. Oh, there we go. I'm going to be following after him. Okay. Zin navigates the woods to the best of his ability. Uh, these are not dense woods. They are not thick. They are not hazardous terrain. Just, just one thing that's dense here. Uh, <laughs> and you do watch as he kind of sits. He's, he drops down, drops down to the ground, and <laughs> sniffs, licks a finger, holds it up to the air, and he swirls his finger around and points. And goes that way, and you follow you where the big, the big plume of smoke is. <laughs> At a boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets about gets about two hundred meters, and he's like, does the same thing, and points slightly off to the left. Uh, and as he's pointing away from the plume of smoke, what he just kind of moves in and just pushes his hand across. Uh, yes, that way. <laughs> follow me. <laughs> After about tw- fifteen twenty minutes of walking through this relatively open wooded area uh, you can see the uh, the large rolling hills ahead of you and uh, you can you can see that uh, thick plume of smoke uh, not far not far from where you currently are and usually thick no it's just smoke okay um, I'll, I'll tell the group you guys stay here I'm gonna go and have a look as Raven and see what all we're dealing with Okay. I'm going to turn Raven, go about 60, 70 feet up in the air. Yep. And just fly, try to do a flyby, basically. Uh, lay the land. Okay. Make me a stealth check and a perception check, please. Okay. Uh, it will be shadow stealth, I guess? Sure. Don't know if I got I think I... Yeah. And uh, perception, I can use mine. I still use yep. my perception. <laughs> okay, so you get you see well enough to see an entire battle map. Um, <laughs> so you look down, and you can see where the hills uh, meet the forest. There's kind of like a clearing, and there's almost a bit of an overhang uh, in the in the in the hill. It seems to be like uh, there may have once been a river that flowed through here or something. And they're kind of like a bank that's cut into the cut into the side of the hill, almost forming like a a, a very small cave-like formation. Uh, you can see what appears to be a handful of tents, three large tents that are kind of pushed up against this formation, and a handful of individuals uh, clustered around a large bonfire, which is what's belching um, the smoke. Is that one of the maps I gifted you? It is. Oh, how nice. I've been trying to use it for a long time. <laughs> um, as you can see, um, yeah, 
they appear to be laughing and joking. Most of them appear to be human. A um, few big, bur uh, several burly ones, but they seem to be humanoid of mo mostly. They're mainly human. Um, and they seem to be chatting around the bonfire, laughing and drinking, um, taking long chews on haunches of meat that seems to be roasting by the fire. You can see there are a few broken crates and barrels in uh, towards the back that have been broken open and discarded. Uh, and you can also see there is one guy on the outside here, which appears to be keeping watch. Um, can I go on? It's basically a cliff edge, is it? It's not quite a cliff edge. It's more like a hill. Um, if you oh, cut right into a hill. So. Um, oh no! Sorry, cliff face. Kind of a little uh, bit, yeah. It's got a bit of an overhang to it. I basically went in bro form to try to basically sit somewhere where I could just hear the conversation for a bit. I want to hear what the general banter is like. Yeah, sure. You you can perch up nearby um, and you can hear them talking like, <laughs> did you watch how his head went bang when I hit with the hammer? Quite funny, wasn't it? Yeah, he went everywhere, mate. Um, good thing, too, because he had a lot of loot. Uh, this wine is really, really good. <sighs> and clogs down this wine. And it's just all, it's just a consistent um, yeah. tale of <sighs> being bandits. Okay. And they, um, don't, they, they appear to be um, not the nicest people. I'm relenting okay. bandits. Uh, <laughs> I am going to go back. As well, as you're party. listening, one of them um, does look over and goes, Hey, still a copper piece, you can't hear that bird. And one of them, oh, I'll tell you that, and picks up a rock and throws it at, throws it at you. <laughs> What's Shadow's AC? Uh, a mass of 12. That misses. Yes! And I fly away. <laughs> uh, as you just... Ah! <laughs> Cough up. Ugh, and he hands him a copper piece. And then you return to your group. Feel free to put yourselves on the map over here. You're not exactly far away. Um... I will return to the group. I'm guessing we're like well out of earshot at this age. Yeah, we'll put your guys on the map just for an idea. You're probably a good 200 feet away from the actual camp, we'll say. Yeah. And I will basically explain what I saw, what that they're basically uh, bragging about murdering, they definitely were looting people. There's one lookout, but they don't seem the brightest bunch. And I'm going to suggest I can go raven form, fly above them, they're not going to suspect anything from raven, turn into human form, throw that sickening radius in, and they're all going to flee from it. And then you guys can just catch them as they're running away. I want to talk to you. I want to know what happened. Because, like, um, I was going to have a conversation because Vanos made it very clear that we can't hold up moral standards if we're not willing to stick to them. And I gave them the option to join. Well, these guys' should... standards are who smash the head the most. So now I just want to know them. They need to know so, they can do this trick. What's the point of teaching them a lesson if you're gonna kill them anyways? I would feel better. <laughs> I feel better about it morally. Judge how this is your time we're fighting for is a you shot. I could surround them with a wall of fire and they wouldn't know what hit them and I think they'd, they'd You do die. your wall of fire around it, I throw a sickening radiant inside. And they run they into the fire. They have either to go through fire or stay 
in my light. I don't have. I've lost my fifth level spells. Come on, do. Here is. I know. Is JoJo breaking up for anyone else? Yeah, we were talking about it a little bit on the break. Um, unfortunately, I think it might be the microphone. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm getting close to just mailing a microphone over. <laughs> I don't know if it's been managed. Um, so, Jojo, what are we doing? Are we going up and having a chat? Are we going and just chatting and then immediately just taking them out? Or are we you just going to go up? Of force, and then you can talk to them and they can't hit you. Probably scare the shit out of them. Good. Or we I don't want to use other people. Two fireballs spell. in there, and then we're done. But yeah, can we do the force and then the thing, the the light thing, and then the fireball? Okay. After I talk to them and then shout a bit, because I need to shout to them. Okay. Okay. Like I said, put yourselves on the map. You were like the best guys ever. <laughs> okay, so... Um, are you just openly approaching? Uh, I think we're probably trying to go up as best as we can until we get quite close to the opening. Okay. Uh, mm. How Ten, far away do you need to be to do the wall of force? 120 feet. So you could do it if we're basically there and close them in. Uh, 10 panels, 10 by 10. How's this planning for a few bandits? I love it. 10. So, what are you guys 30. doing? Mm. Sneak. Yeah, I think I can. I just I can get them easy, at least these guys. Okay, last ten minutes to make me another stealth check, please. I do this from as far away as I can. So if you'll roll me a stealth check. Nice. Wow. It's a shame you have disadvantage. Um... No, I don't anymore. I don't. I have my fancy you... boots on. Oh, do you have the boots? Yeah, yeah but you're not well. attuned to them, are you? I don't need to be. I've got the straight roll. Uh, the boots of the elven kind do require attunement. <laughs> yeah. Do it's I need just to wear them. Oh, is it just when you wear them? Fair enough, it's just though. when you wear them. That's the whole point why I picked them up. Fair enough, oh, no, no, they aren't. The cloak is attunement. Uh, okay, so you guys start to sneak up. And you sneak up, and the guard seems to just be sat there. You see, he seems to be picking at something on his hand a scab or something. <laughs> his axe is down beside him. Uh, as you guys begin to move up towards him through this through this huge, dense cluster of trees and bushes, and you just kind of walk up a bit quietly. Um, so what do you want to do? Right. The guards, this the guard doesn't seem to have noticed you. I dropped the wall of force, uh, like I. Druid. Okay, you drop the wall of force. They. Can I pull Zen near me because he's like a super. <laughs> you drop I the wall of force. Me. They do not appear to notice. Come. You go, I'm just ah. gonna go stumbling you, out the tree. You build the wall of force around, um, and they still seem to be chatting. They go quieter. <laughs> so you just stumble out. I'm just gonna. I look like I'm a little frazzled, but. Okay, you walk out of the bush, react. and as you do, one of the, the guards like, huh, grabs his grabs this big two-handed great axe uh, from by his side, just hefts it up. Who are you? I'm so lost. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Brat. What are you doing here? I've just been travelling for days. I'm so lost. Oh, it's alright, little messy. And he looks at you wearing full blade armour. 
Um, you come with us, we'll sort you out. Boss! Got a friend! So do he, I. He calls out, and doesn't. they don't seem to hear him, but he doesn't notice, and he walks over, <laughs> just walks over to you, kind of puts his axe down. Like, come on, little lady. You come with me, I'll, I'll help you out. Cool, I'm going to stab him. Oh, okay. Make an attack. <laughs> this is your version of talking. <laughs> I've got other people to talk to. Okay. Make me an attack roll. With advantage, because he's fucking surprised. <laughs> <laughs> That'll hit roll damage. <laughs> That'll do. Oh. You stab him. You pull out the sword as he kind of walks over towards you. You pull out uh, the long sword. And you stab it into his gut. Uh, and you watch just this kind of this burst of uh, necrotic energy corrode the flesh in it around him. And then divine energy re- echoes out from around him. And he just explodes. <laughs> and there's just a pair of feet on the floor. <laughs> next to you. Crash Bandicoot style. Like Crash Bandicoot style. <laughs> Where's the? I, I'm doing. I'm going to go to the pot to get some blood on my hand. <sighs> just like, oh god, there's just gore. And go to the wall, and I'm just going to write. If they As... can't hear me, I'm just going to write down Sucumba Battle Revenge. <laughs> see what just what they the guys turn around, like knock around, they turn and look at you, and they see this pair of boots and you covered in blood, like, oh, boss, I got a situation. As you start to write on the thing, yeah. She's trying to write something, but it, it's backwards. I can't read it. You can write backwards. <laughs> uh, can they hear me if I talk at them? That's a, <laughs> they can kind of see uh, here over it. Um, they kind of walk up, and they bo- three of them just walk straight into the wall of force. You are muted, Rams. Uh They walk straight into the wall of force. <laughs> uh, it's uh, three meters high. You can shout over. <laughs> Boss, there do, seems to be a problem. Do not mess with the combat. Uh, I don't quite know what's going on, but she's pretty scary. Um, should we kill her? As soon as I get out of this fucking box. <laughs> Is anything else doing? Anyone else doing something here? I'll just go, Jojo. Just sting. tell me. Um, I'll toss in a stinking yeah. cloud just over the, over the thing. <laughs> It's like falling in the shower, man. Yeah. <laughs> you drop in the stick gun, just hits yeah, the... just straight in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it spread further, but let's not, let's not make it ignite. <laughs> um, and you, I don't think they even have the possibility to, to succeed, so... Uh, they start all... The stinking cloud just... <laughs> oh, was that... <laughs> Cave! <laughs> <laughs> and they just all start retching, and they're not. They kind of one of a couple of them fall to their knees. Um, they're not. They're not having a good time. And they're just Joe, completely. Joe. And you can kind of see just. the stinking cloud hitting against the wall of force and just kind of sitting there. It's kind of strange. Jojo, jo, they say the word. Word. And I'll cast. Um, basically, sickening radiance somewhere around here so it doesn't catch us but gets all of them. Okay, roll damage for me. Uh, sickening radiance. Okay, regardless. Uh, as you throw the sickly dark light over the wall of force into the gassy area, a few of them see it, most of them are. Um, a two um, second to react to it, and as the light bursts, you watch as one by one they melt, just bleh, face melting, um, in a horrible, quite sickening display. Actually, of these caged beasts, kind of they pour up against the wall of force as they slowly just slide down. Is it like uh, Indiana Jones? <laughs> That's it, exactly like that, and. Yeah. Don't have nightmares. Yeah. But they all... They all just instantly die, even if they make their save, they die. They have 15 HP. Once I... Once I all go down, I just take it off. <laughs> and there's just this horrible cloud of... nastiness. 
<laughs> that was mean, man. <laughs> and this, the wall of forces holds it all in, but you can kind of smell the uh, the uh, the the horrible uh, scent of death that just kind of creeps over the top. Can we start of walking back now? And also, the stinking cloud just creeping over the top slightly. It's a it's quite an unpleasant uh, situation. We want to go and see what they have, so we can bring it back and give it to town. Yeah, let's see if let's see if they have any stolen stuff. Yeah, I start walking. <laughs> Make me an investigation. I start check. looking for the bounty. Yeah, you have to yeah, climb over the wall. Though. I'll say Geo. Okay, maybe an investigation check, Geo. As you climb. You find you go through and you find they have a grand total of seven gold, seven gold pieces, uh, and three days of rations, and several not very good looking great swords and dirtied weapons and and muddy leather armor. I feel bad for them. Me too. <laughs> And I mean, it's as you're as you're kind of picking through. It's kind of just like pop, pulling through soup. It's just it's just not nice, man. Like Luskin. I it's like I, Luskin I, all I, over so, again. Yeah. I Dogs look at the bodies and I go, I did not expect to have it afterwards. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I just, in my head, I'm like, I'm like, is that? Was that intentional? <laughs> you don't hear anything, but you somehow you just sense a smile. <laughs> I just like I just go out there and go. I'm gonna only save that for special occasions. <laughs> <laughs> the fire goes out. The tents wilt and collapse on themselves. I. I'm gonna go grab Jojo by the shoulders and then start bring her back towards the town. Okay. <coughs> As you begin the trek back towards Sakomba. I am covered in blood and I'm bloody out of it. And that is where we're gonna end for tonight's session. You're muted, Nero. Sorry. Um Yeah, as soon as we get out of the range, I'm gonna fireball the camp. Probably good. Just burn it. Burns, just burn it on burns the ground. It off. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of just ex it, uh, it kind of gets caught inside the kind of the small cavern area, and it seems to um, uh, amplify the spell slightly. As it pushes itself out with a bit of a heat jet, and the tents just collapse and burn. Okay. And with that, <clears throat> we will end tonight's session. Uh, you guys are evil. <laughs> uh, as for the recording, I'll turn that off for now. Um, blah, 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 bye.